I paid a buck for this thing at a yard sale. It was in pretty rough shape. It had been repaired with a nut and bolt. It looked like the crack ran all the way through. Here it is disassembled. Sure enough, one side was broken in half. I start off by giving all the pieces a bath. I use paint stripper to remove what was left of the red paint. As usual, the red paint really put up a fight. Check out how badly corroded the castings were. Here's the parts after 24 hours in evaporust. Check out the extensive pitting. I used JB Weld to glue the pieces back together. This was just a first step in my repair effort. I used a carving burr in my Dremel to remove the excess epoxy. I needed the glue joint flat for what I was going to try next. Mrs. Magdad gave me a scrap of denim to use. My plan was to epoxy this inside the handle to reinforce the broken section. Sort of like a fiberglass resin repair kit you would use on a car or boat. I used Bob Smith 30 minute epoxy. I coated the metal, then laid in the cloth and coated it until it was thoroughly soaked with epoxy. Once it was cured, I sanded off the excess. And re-drilled the holes. What do you think? Like brand new, right? I decided the screw was just too far gone. I bought a replacement from Home Depot. I soaked it in vinegar for a couple days to burn off the zinc plating. I reassembled the knife and started with an 80 grit belt. Here it is after 80 grit. And here it is after 120 grit. I was starting to lose some of the detail. I then took the castings through all three grits of my red label conditioning belts.
The good news was they were definitely looking better. The bad news was that all of my sanding had removed enough metal to blur the definition of the casting. I used these diamond coated ball tip bits to try to deepen the casting detail. I think it came out okay. Let me take you back to what I started with. So what do you think? I went with a matte finish on the metal with burgundy or maroon accent. I mixed a couple drops of sea blue into flat red to make the color. To sharpen up the lettering and portholes, I added a drop of flat black to silver and used a tiny brush. I let the testers enamel dry for a few days before overcoating the castings inside and out with satin clear. I ran into a problem with the clear coat. I didn't like the way it dried on the bare metal. Luckily, it scraped off very easily. After I scraped it all off, I buffed the metal with super fine Scotch Brite and gave it a few coats of wax. I really like the design of these old cast body utility knives. I was happy to be able to save this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Stanley introduced their Defiance line in 1929. Defiance tools were marketed to farmers and homeowners as good quality tools with a lower price. By 1952, the Defiance tool catalog offered 136 tools. Defiance was replaced by the Yankee Handyman line after Stanley had acquired the name from North Brothers.